the causes of autism are controversial, uh, but what we do know for sure is that genes play a huge role in the etiology or the cause of autism. And we know that because uh, very early on, in fact, over 20 years ago, people started studying identical twins and fraternal twins. So identical twins share all of their DNA, and fraternal twins or non-identical twins share only half of their DNA, the same as two siblings. And when they studied twins, where one twin had autism, they found out that if they were identical twins and one of the identical twins had autism, then about 90% of the time, the other twin had autism. Whereas with non-identical or fraternal twins, when one twin had autism, it was more like 10 to 20% of the time the other twin had autism. So right away, that told us that autism had a very large genetic component, but also a complex genetic component, like there wasn't one gene that we could point to and say that that's the cause of autism. We now know that there are actually hundreds of genes that contribute to autism. But in many cases, the genes that we've identified contribute to a very small number of cases. Um, so we would consider these to be powerful genetic effects, but only affecting a small handful of cases. So we have certain syndromes, for example. Fragile X is a good example. Um, about 1% of people with autism will be found to have uh, a change in, in the Fragile X gene. And so they'll have Fragile X. Um, but that's only 1% of autism. There are other genes like that as well, things like Prader-Willi syndrome, um, also Angelman syndrome, where there's frequently autism in those individuals. Um, so we know that genes play a huge role. We, we suspect that the environment may play a role as well, although we think it might be a smaller role, and probably not in the ways that people have generally been talking about. So for example, the largest studies done on the effects of vaccines and autism have not found a link or a strong link between vaccines and the cases of autism. While it's possible that things like vaccinations or other kinds of um, uh, challenges to the immune system might play a role, it's likely that if they, even if they do, it's a very small number of autism cases where they would play a role. And even in those cases, it's probably a genetic interaction with the environmental um, immune challenge. So really genes play a huge role in the environment, less of a role. We do have some environmental risk factors though. For example, if parents are older, especially if dads are older uh, when they have their children, they're at increased risk of having a child with autism. So for example, dads who are over the age of 40 have about a four to five times increased risk of having a child with autism. And we think the reason for that is that as dads get older, they're more likely to pass on a genetic mutation to their child. Um, so again, even though that's an environmental risk factor or what seems like an environmental risk factor, it actually is probably working through changes in genes.